Hey guys, I'm Luke, and you are watching The Creative Way. I am going to show you how to build a website in three simple steps. The first step is to go to Wix.com. What you want to do on Wix.com, if you don't already have an account, you want to create one. And then you want to click Create New Site, either in the corner or if you're new then it'll say create your first site and you can click that button or the one in the corner now the next step is answering these questions the what kind of website do you want to create you can create business designer fashion blah 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 they have so many options for this I'm gonna create a blog and you want to click let Wix ADI create a website for you instead of create your website with Wix editor. You want to click start now. The first question there is what type of site do you want to create? I typed in YouTube channel because I'm creating a site for the creative way. So then you wanna click next. And the next question is, what do you need on your site? I didn't need paid plans and an Instagram feed, so I unchecked those. I have video and chat on my site because I think that would go great. There are more features you can add if you want to, but I think I'm just good with the video and the chat. So then after you've clicked all your features you want on your site, click next what is the name of your site obviously mine's going to be creative way then to import content copy and paste your links so what i did was i went to my youtube channel and it gives me an option to import my youtube channel if i want to so what i did was i went to youtube and i found my youtube channel and i copied and pasted it right in that text box and then after you do that, all you have to do is click next. Now it did take me a while to find my channel's link because I forgot that I'm new to YouTube, so it's not a customized link for me. So I just copied and pasted that, and then I, um, you can click that checkbox down there and it'll allow you to actually get images from your YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. And then import images to your new site. Yeah, uh, review and edit your info. Just click next. Um, and then after you click next for that, the real magic happens. This is where you can pick a theme. So I chose play because I really liked how that looked. I liked the colors in that one and the fonts. And then you click continue after you select a theme. Then I clicked use colors from your logo to create a palette for your site. So I clicked create palette and it automatically gave me colors that I had already been using in my logo to create my website. So then this is the real fun part. This is step three. As soon as it's finished loading, it'll load your completely unique website after you pick your favorite homepage design. There are three of them. Usually one is more contemporary and then the other two are um, more modern. And I picked the first one because I just really liked how that looked. So as soon as you use that, you just click use this design or just click on the site that you want and it'll take you to the editor, which is the most fun part of this. So it'll say loading your features, adding your pages, step two out of three, blah, blah, blah. Uh, speaking of steps, we're on step three now, which is customizing your site with the Wix ADI editor. So automatically it takes you to your home page. And the first thing I want to do is get rid of that old editor or that old header and completely add a new and improved video, which is my intro. 
to this. And all you have to do is click on anything you want to edit. And then I selected the media. I changed it to video. So what I did is I just went into my media and I uploaded it. I uploaded my video from the computer. So after I selected it and uploaded it from my computer, it loads a little bit. And then what it'll do is it will take you to where you can select and you just hit apply. And then my video is right there where my header used to be. So I actually want to show you how to navigate this so you can add design, manage apps, whatever. And I can design my, uh, my YouTube channel cover on there, whatever I wanna do there. But what I'm really excited to show you is how to add a new page. So you click add page, obviously, and you click video because I want a video page for my site. I think my channel should have its own page. So it'll load and it'll load and it'll load and it'll load. So if we just wait, then I will refresh the page because it is taking so long. So eventually, after I refreshed the page, it will finally load for us. But until then, I'm just gonna tell you what I plan to do with this video section. So I wanna add um, a, just like a channel page for my website. And Wix is so cool that it will automatically add your channel and any videos you have. And all you have to do is click play and the most recent video that you have will automatically appear there, which is pretty cool. And you can select the layout for that. You can have four videos, two videos, three videos, um, whatever you want. And so after I reloaded it, it's saying on it, we're rolling and we're rolling and we're rolling and eventually we come back to Wix where we see something after it's done rolling yeah it takes a while okay so once that thing goes away we come back to Wix and we see our website automatically I'm gonna go up to the page and I'm gonna click add page again and then I still want to add the video page even though it didn't really work last time so we'll click the second layout because I like the channel and the videos underneath it and eventually if we're lucky we can finally load our channel on there now I love Wix but their editors do take a very long time to load I that's like the only criticism I have for Wix um, I really love how it works and everything like that. So, as soon as we have it loading, which it'll load eventually, for a second there I thought it was actually done. Nope, keep loading. Oh, and now it's done. So, we can edit our channel by simply clicking on it and clicking uh, manage videos right on the bottom. So we wanna click manage videos. You can edit your channel cover. Uh, you can do whatever you want. But for this purpose, I am going to manage my videos. So I'm gonna pull up um, what this is, the dashboard, I think where we're going to manage the videos that go on our site. So my most recent video was a test video that you guys won't be seeing anytime soon because I'm deleting it off my channel. It was very, the lighting was not very flattering and 
So yeah, I just took it off. So I pasted my YouTube channel URL into that box right there. And what it does is it automatically gives us the most recent videos that I've had. So we're back to the test video thing and I can make my videos paid or whatever. And then all I have to do is click done up in the corner and in an instant, my channel comes to life with the cover of my channel and the most recent video I've posted, which is awesome. The next thing I wanna show you, however, is the blog. So if you click on the blog page and then you go to, well, blog, you click manage blog down at the very bottom and it'll take you, it'll pop up the same thing as it did last time with the manage video. And what you'll wanna do here is um, you'll wanna click edit and you wanna delete the blog post it already has for you. Um, but if you wanna create your own post, all you have to go to is in, up in the corner, there is a new post button. So I just moved all of those blog posts to the trash because I didn't want them. And so the next thing that popped up was grow a community around your blog at a members area. So I was like, okay, what's the worst that could happen? So I clicked add members area, which is basically allows you people to sign up for your website and they can subscribe um, to your blog posts and they will have your, their own account on your website and they can post too, which is really fun. So all you have to do is wait for it to load again. And then we have our very own blog with a members area, which I think is pretty cool. So once it's done loading, it will add a new page saying members. In that member page, what you wanna do is click on it and automatically you'll see your members of your site. But if you look where my mouse is, then it'll show you that there's a little login bar up there, which is pretty cool. So you can edit how you log in, you can edit your section header. There are so many cool things to do with Wix ADI. And I think it's so cool that they personalize the site directly for you just by answering a couple questions in step two. So you can edit whatever pages you don't like in your member area. You could do whatever you want. But my favorite part of this is how simple it is. It's literally three easy steps. That's all it takes to create your very own website during the quarantine where everyone is surfing the internet. If you want a shout out in my next video, I am going to put the link to my new website. Just click the I and also down in the description box below. I hope you have enjoyed this, and that is going to be all for this video of The Creative Way. See you next time.